new classroom set up. So I know some of you are going to be a little bit thrown off because we had to pull out a lot of equipment and we are planning to put that equipment back eventually. Fun fact, apparently the phone companies have kind of bought up all the glass for the touch panels so that's kind of slowed our progress. So welcome to my world. So anyways, to get you started, the first thing I want you to do when you enter a classroom is kind of do a little room assessment to figure out what's in the room, right? Like, what am I working with? So the first thing I would do, then, like you can turn on the computer anytime, you should be able to handle that one. I'm not gonna give you some pointers on that. But I want you to look around and look for remotes. So you should have three, two or three. So the first one is a little white remote and it says Sony on the bottom, and if you look really hard, it says projector. So this is the projector remote, it turns on the projector. You do have to do it manually if you don't have one of those. Basically, if you see this remote, then you don't have a touch panel. You shouldn't have one if you have both, you have a problem. Um, but you can manually turn on the projector by pressing the green button. Also, just remember to turn off the projector because um, even though they are lampless, that's the newfangled way to go. The lamps only, or the stuff only lasts for a certain number of hours and then it's dead. So if you're not using it, you should turn it off. The other thing, just as a reminder, there is like a blank image button here. Sometimes we forget when we blank our image to turn the projector off. Like that doesn't count as turning it off. So if you are somebody who uses blank image a lot, just remember, also turn it off when you go. So the other remote to look for is this uh, Vadio remote. So it is only in classrooms that have cameras. And this allows you to control the camera in your classroom. So there's some, some tight and wide, so the zoom speed, and then you can move the camera up and down or to the side to kind of change up the angle. And we are kind of working on some presets, but you know, don't, don't press your luck. So the thing that I've noticed with these particular remotes is that the batteries are slightly janky. So sometimes if you know, you're pointing, first of all, the connection's pretty slow. So you might be pointing and pointing and be like, why is it not just, just, but sometimes it just helps to just, you know, open up the back and just give the little batteries a little tippy tap there. And then try again, because usually it will work. So those are the two main remotes that you will see. You may also see this little tiny hover cam remote. This is what controls the document camera if you have one. So again, document camera kind of, you know, important. It's an add-on currently. When we fully upgrade all the classrooms, we plan to put document cameras in most spaces. 